Now you're on YouTube searching for how to create stunning egg thumbnails that going to be help you to drive audience to your videos and you cannot grow your channel without very highly attractive thumbnails. In this video I'm going to show you how to create this kind of highly glowing effect, this kind of stunning text effect and also overall color grading that's going to be stand out your thumbnails from the others and also help you to drive audience to your videos. So if you're interested to learn how to create this kind of thumbnails with step by step process this video is for you. So watch the video until the end. Now let's jump into our desktop and show you all the process. Now we are here in Photoshop. We're going to first create a blank document of full HD size. After creating the document, we're going to introduce our background. I have downloaded that background image from Google. You can just search it for Google in a dark interior or dark background and you can find that kind of images to use. After applying the background, next step we're going to apply a solid color. We're going to use a purple color and then we're going to change the blending mode into multiply. After creating the background, next step we're going to apply our model image. In this case, first we need to remove the background. To do that, we're going to select any kind of selection tool and then we're going to go to the selected mask. In here, we're going to select the subject. After selecting the subject, you can see there is some of the area need to be refined. We're going to use the brush tool to adjust all the side and also adjust all the edges to make it perfect. After adjusting, we're going to hit OK. Now you can see it's make a selection. Next, we're going to apply a layer mask. After applying the layer mask, you can see this part is need to be adjusted. To do that, we're going to select the brush tool, make sure the foreground color is white, and then we're going to bring back this part. After adjusting that, we're going to go to the filter, others, minimum. We're going to keep the radius around 1.5 to 2 pixels and preserve as a rounded, and then we're going to hit OK. Next, we're going to retouch our model image. To retouch the model using the heading brush tool, and you can take your time. Then again, create a blank layer and take the brush tool. Make sure the opacity around 5 to 10 percent, and then apply that color around the face. And you can take your time. And then we're going to make the skin smoother. To do that, first we're going to create a snapshot by pressing Shift plus Ctrl plus Alt plus C. Then we're going to make a duplicate layer by pressing Ctrl J. Then invert the layer, change the blending mode into vivid light. Then go to the filters, others, and high pass. Adjust the high pass. And then again go to the filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Adjust the Gaussian blur and hit OK. Next, apply a negative layer mask by pressing Alt or Option and click in the layer mask. Then take the brush tool, adjust the opacity around 70 to 80% and apply that smoother skin into around the model. And then again we are going to apply a dodge and burn technique around the model. After applying the dodge and burn technique, then we're going to introduce our camera raw filter. You can just skip that dodge and burn technique because it's not necessary. After editing the image, we're going to take that image into our main document. After adding our model image into the thumbnail, next we're going to adjust the background to make sure that everything is perfect. After that, we're going to add our text information into the thumbnail. Adjust the text size and also create an angle text for our thumbnail text. Next, we're going to create our background glowing effect. To do that, first we're going to create a black layer, then change the blending mode into screen. Then again, create a blank layer, then create a clipping mask. Again, go to the adjustment layer, take the gradient map. And in gradient map, you need to be take a white color in the right side and also black color into the left side. In the middle, we're going to select a color that we want to create that glowing effect color. 
After that, select the middle blank layer, then take the brush tool and then apply that glowing back of the model. And again, we are going to apply that glowing effect into the foreground of our model. To do that, select all this layer. By pressing Alter option, make a copy and take that into the top of the model. Then delete that middle layer and create another blank layer. And selecting the blank layer, take again brush tool. Now this time adjust the brush size in a smaller way, 10, 5 to 10 pixel. And then apply that glowing effect around the edges of the model. After applying the glowing effect around the edges of the model, you can see it's not looking professional, looking good. We need to be adjust that using the smudge tool. So we're going to use the smudge tool and adjust all that kind of glowing effect to make it smoother and also it's kind of faded away so that it's look more natural and also look good into our thumbnail. So you can just take your time and adjust that glowing effect. After creating the glowing effect, we're going to introduce our social media icon into the hand area. Next, we're going to create a lighting effect that reflect that it's coming from the light from the hand. Like just I want to make a manipulation over here so that people can understand all these icons coming from my hand. And after that, we're going to create our text effect. First, double click on the layer. It will going to open a layer style. Next, we're going to apply a gradient map. Then we're going to introduce our inner glow. And also apply a stroke. After that, we're going to apply drop shadow. And apply more drop shadow to make a more kind of just create that kind of 3D look. And we're going to hit OK. After creating the text effect for our top text, next we're going to copy the layer style and also apply that layer style into the other two layers. You can just adjust it by pressing double click and also adjust the gradient glowing 3D text. You can just adjust all the things you need. After creating the text effect, next we're going to add some of the background elements like social media icons into the background to create that kind of dynamic effect. And then apply motion blur. And for the final of our background, we're going to add some of that kind of lighting star or the glowing effect. And also you can use any kind of element in the background so that it's look good with our thumbnail. And then organize all the layer and create a snapshot. After creating the snapshot, convert the layer into smart object. 
then go to the filter and camera filter adjust all the color is in the camera filter because in camera filter it is very much experimental you need to be experiment all the things all the sliders to find out what is the color and what the color is best for your thumbnail after editing the thumbnail with the camera filter hit ok and now you can see we're good to go now you can see i just show you all of the process how to create this kind of stunning text effect and also all of the things that going to be help you to learn all the step that you need to do when it's going to create this kind of stunning text effect and if you want to download this template you can just check the link in the description and also check out my website for more so i hope you like this video if you like this video hit that like button and also let me know your opinion in the comments below and if you face any kind of problem you need any kind of help just let me know in the comment and also you can follow me on facebook and also instagram where you can just directly contact with me and also if you want to connect with me personally you can just join into our discord server where i personally help you out all the necessary things that you want to learn from me so that's it for today see you in my next video till then bye bye and the most important thing as i always say stay connected with my channel and subscribe